Hello again and welcome to one of, my, one of my labs. It's been a while since I've done one so hopefully this one's going to be really useful to you. Um, there are lots of purposes behind this. Um, the first one is to, uh, the main one really, is to show how Viata can tunnel through and create an IPsec land-to-land uh, -land tunnel between uh, Viata and ISA or PIX. That's the first reason. Uh, the second reason is um, that ha we we managed to do that by connecting VMware Workstation through to GNS. Uh, and the third reason is we're doing one-to-one um, -one mapping between uh, what was, if you like, a public IP and a um, a private IP, if you like. So the idea is um, we're playing the role of a service provider. The service provider has set up a firewall and a web server behind that firewall. Um, they want to run web services on this particular firewall, so be it a website, be it exchange, that sort of thing. Um, and it wants to be natted to that particular public IP. But they also want a uh, a, a private tunnel between um, this subnet here and this subnet here. So that Joe Blog sitting on his computer here can ping this computer over here um, on that particular IP address, not this one or this one, and it goes through automatically. Okay, well let's get through the testing. So let's go on to through to uh, actually before I do the testing, let me show you which bits link into which bit. So uh, this computer here is played by that router there. Um, that PIX box there is played by that. This Viata box here is played by router 99 here, which is out on the internet. We don't have any any control over that device at all. Uh, this router here is the one that we do have control over. <coughs> excuse me, which is uh, router one here. And then we've got our web server here, which is here. Okay, now let's do some, do some testing. So we're going to go on to this box here, which is here, and we're going to see if we can ping 192.168.10.10. So let's ping 192.168.10.10. There we go. Let's go through on the web server. Check that we can ping uh, 10 10.20.0.10, I think it is. There we go. And if we do a trace route. Uh, D, I think, so that we leave out the names, otherwise it'll take forever. There you go, two hops, that's what you'd expect. And now the next thing to test is going to be SMTP. Let's test it from router 99. So what we can do, if we telnet through to 10, 0, 19, 10, and port 25, yeah, that's Microsoft SMTP service. Now let's do it the other way. Let's go from here and if we ping through to the outside interface on the ISA and then we'll run a debug and we'll check to see what the source IP address is. So let's go on to here and we're going to ping 10020 and I believe it should be 29 and it's 2 and T forever so that's now going through from here and pinging through to here now what the Viata box should be doing is seeing the source IP address of that and natting it to that so that when packets leave it comes out with a source of this and so that when it goes to when the packet arrives here it sees the source as that Okay, let's go on to here and we want to run a debug on ICMP and I think we can set a trace level of 200. Let's do un all before we get overridden. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, echo reply from da -da 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 2 and then we have, we got a request first of all actually. You see the request is coming from 1910. So it's not coming from that it's coming from that particular IP address which is what we want okay I'll give you a quick one through the configs it'll be on the website but I'll go through it anyway so to make a uh, one-to-one -one network which is what we went through there obviously the IP address is bound to the outside interface and then here we have some NAT rules that is the one-to-one -one NAT that makes it work so uh, source IP address there and you've got then we have uh, destination is that it's destination NAT 
and this obviously is the source snap bit here. Uh, this is the exception so that um, LAN to LAN IPsec traffic doesn't get natted. You can see the keyword there which is exclude and this is a default uh, masquerade um, nat rule in there. And then somewhere down here we have the IPsec stuff. So that's our phase one, no it isn't, that's our phase one, that's our phase two information. Uh, notice here I have PFS disabled. By default it's on. NAT traversal is not really needed in this scenario but I leave it on anyway. And here we have the interesting information um, which is actually st establishing the peer IPsec tunnel. We have local subnet, remote subnet, uh, we have the IKE information being um, proposal being uh, configured there and here we have the ESP or phase 2 information as well. Notice here I'm setting the lifetime, that's the Cisco lifetime and here I think that's default but I've set it anyway again to relate so that the timings are both synchronous on both the PIC side and the Viata side. That's important so one doesn't tear it down and the other one's still alive, things like that. Okay, uh, that looks good. Let's go on to the PIC side now. So obviously define a name, sorry, define an IP address, give it a name, give it a name, define an IP address, whatever order you fancy. This is the no NAT access control list and that is the, the IPsec information, the interesting traffic or the crypto ACL as we like to call it. Uh, lots of rules here to allow ICMP through. That obviously is the phase 2 traffic. Here is the phase 1 traffic. Obviously triple DES, SHA and here triple DES and SHA. Notepad is conveniently matching them for me. Again, so we've got NAT traversal turned off, even though we've got it enabled the other side, doesn't really matter. Here is the tunnel group information, obviously it's an IPsec LAN to LAN tunnel. The attribute is a pre-shared key, the pre-shared key here is in fact let me in, but PIX doesn't show it. That's about it. On here, so interesting debug commands are, uh, I'm in configuration mode, so show VPN debug. You can see somewhere down in here, the bit that you're looking for is... Dum -dum 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 -dum. where it says uh, SA established IPsec Security Association established um, you've also got some other interesting ones which are things like uh, run show VPN you've got IKE do SA you can see that that's up you can see um, not sending in any interesting traffic at the moment, so the time is ticking down. Uh, there's another one which is IPsec SA. You can see the uh, the both inbound and outbound security associations, which is the PICS equivalent of this. If I do show crypto ISACAMP SA. So we go, some interesting information there. You can see that this side is the responder. So this particular scenario, Viata has established the uh, connection. Lifetime matches. Next one. So these are the crypto ACLs that are coming across. So obviously you're looking for those particular addresses to match uh, show IPsec. those here local and remote so over here they have to be inverted so what's considered local here is considered remote over here and vice versa so that all looks very healthy 
Okay, um, that pretty much concludes this. Again, this is not designed for me to necessarily show you um, how to do it, more a proof of how it works. I'll put all the configs onto uh, the blog, and I hope you enjoyed this video.